VS Code can run Spotify inside of it like a plugin. This is really cool. Let's check out how this is possible. This also begs the question, will everything I know and love eventually be a VS Code plugin? It happened with WordPress, so who says it won't happen with VS Code? The setup for this takes five seconds. Go to extensions, type in music time for Spotify, and then select the very first item here. Select to install, and over here, you'll have a new pop-up for a sidebar option here for Spotify. Simply connect up to Spotify and we're ready to go. Now, you might be asking yourself a simple question, which I'm going to try to answer so that I don't have millions of comments to respond to because I do like to respond to every comment. And this question might be, Adrian, why are we running VS Code inside of Spotify? What's the point? Why not just run it inside of Spotify? And to that, I'll answer simply, why are we watching videos without hitting the like and subscribe button? I see it all the time, yet people always forget to do it. And the answer is simple, because we need to make life easier for everyone. The less barriers we can place between one item and another, the easier we can get to it. I know that half the time I don't listen to music simply because I don't want to open up an app and search through a playlist, and that whole process just is too difficult. Whereas if I have a quick plugin straight into Spotify through VS Code, I know that I'll listen to that music way faster. And to me, when I'm listening to coding music, I code so much better. I did a whole video on that just up here, and you can check out my favorite music to listen to. But let's have a look at this plugin to see what it can offer. Now that we're all signed in, let's have a look at some of the features that we have here. Straight off the go, if we have a look at the app, we do have a few things that we can select in here. We can immediately have a look at the AI generated software where it picks out some top 40 music, as well as the software version of that and my like playlists. We also have all my favorite playlists down here. I usually like to make playlists every single year because I listen to different music each year. And sometimes I also like to have a playlist based on what I'm working on so that I can get into that zone much quicker. Finally, we've got some recommended music here too. Now, I don't want to play this because I'll probably get blacklisted from YouTube as soon as one second of any music plays, but it's still interesting to see some of these features over here. Let's check to see what generating my top AI playlist looks like so that I can check that out. Oh, great. So we got Ariana Grande and Chainsmokers and a couple of other ones here like MGMT. Not exactly what I normally listen to, but maybe there are specific songs I might like. And if we have a look down here, we also get our little micro player. And here we can select what music to play if we skip, even to like a song as well if we like. Let's take a quick look at some of the music I do listen to though. For my playlist for writing a book here, I've got a few different tracks here from things like Four Seasons, as well as from Hans Zimmer. And all of these music is sort of like piano soundtracks, something that is very relaxing and lets my mind think without any lyrics. Then in terms of my 2020 playlist, I've got a few funny ones here. I've got The Man by Taylor Swift. I've got Dance the Way I Like to Feel. Um, and I've got a touch tone telephone. That's one of my favorites too. In 2019, I had The Kids Are Coming, Purple Hat, Dance Monkey, a lot of Tones and I, which was pretty popular at the time, as well as a few other ones like Vampire Weekend. And if we go back to 2018, what do I have here? Uh, UFO, uh, Every Day's a Weekend by Alex Leahy, and uh, Martini by The Presets. That's also heaps of a fun song to listen to. And 2017, I've almost got nothing there, just talk the way I like. Sorry, talk like that by the presets. And that's more or less it. In Australia here, we have the Hottest 100, which pretty much everyone here in Australia picks out some of their favorite songs each year. And I've got each one of those. So that's always a good playlist to listen to. Otherwise, I've got a couple of other playlists I like to listen to. I've got my focus programming playlist, which is just two songs on repeat. One is Wolf by Pyramid and Arium by, well, whatever this is, I can't really say that. And I've also got In The Zone, which is Dance Battle by Jeff Russo and Rain Girl, which is a great playlist as well for dancing. But that mostly covers the music that I listen to. I'd love to know some of the songs that you guys listen to. Let me know in the comments below, and I hope you liked this video too. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.